Some of the best cars and drivers in the world race at Indy, and the competition is fierce. With 33 cars packed in tight formation, one wrong move can be disastrous. So when Indy officials look for a pace car to lead the pack, they look for total vehicle performance. Hi, I'm Don Runkel, chief engineer for Camaro. We had a single goal when we designed the Z28, to make it a truly impressive performer. And I'm proud to say we've accomplished everything we set out to do. Today, I'd like to show you the components. Real nuts and bolts taken from the Z28 we just pulled apart. As with many race cars, aerodynamics helped establish Z28's wedge-shaped stance. The flush-mounted windshield raked back at a 62-degree angle. In the fast hatch design, one of the most sophisticated pieces of glass ever applied to a production car, gives Z28 a smoothly sculptured all-glass appearance. It pays off in aerodynamics by promoting smooth airflow over the vehicle. Ground effects engineering also contributes to Z28's aerodynamics. For instance, a deep well air dam controls airflow under the car for low drag. And combined with the ground effects rockers and deck lid spoiler, adds to the total aerodynamic downforce for handling and stability. At approximately 50 miles per hour, more than half of the total horsepower required to move a car is used just to overcome wind resistance. And at higher speeds, wind resistance becomes the dominant factor in horsepower requirements. A vehicle's ability to slip through the air is measured by its drag coefficient. Z28's design rates a sleek .339 coefficient of drag, one of the best in the industry. In the pursuit of the ultimate performing Camaro, we use some excellent components, such as the Goodyear Eagle GT tire. Another example is Z28 suspension. It's really a system, a marriage between structure, front suspension geometry, steering, rear suspension, weight distribution, and tire characteristics, all working together for precise handling. One important factor in designing handling into a vehicle is compliance management. Compliance in a structure is basically how much give it has. In Z28 structure, we tried to minimize this give or compliance so that when you push on something or generate an input, like turning the steering wheel, the response is immediate. Two important elements of compliance management are structural integrity and component stiffness. As an example of structural integrity, the shock towers have been designed to reduce lateral compliance. And additional reinforcing braces here and in other key areas add to Z28's overall structural integrity. Another example is the power cradle. It's bolted directly to the body without compliant rubber isolators providing a solid foundation for attaching front suspension components. But structural integrity is only part of the story. Component stiffness is also important. As an example, the knuckle has additional material added here and here. The front stabilizer bar system, which includes a 32 millimeter bar and stiff urethane bushings, helps control body roll during cornering maneuvers. All these components were selected for their low compliance, and working together, they deliver a taut, precise feel and crisp steering response. OK, with the front suspension set, the same kind of thinking went into the design of the rear suspension. A torque arm is attached at the transmission and at the differential. It controls the twisting forces exerted during acceleration. The solid rear axle is located by these short control arms for weight efficient fore aft load management. A panhard rod helps control the lateral acceleration or side to side forces generated during cornering. Compact lightweight coil springs, specifically tuned for Z28, and a rigid 21 millimeter stabilizer bar helps keep Z28 flat for precise cornering. Finally, this special Eagle GT steel belted radial tire was designed especially for the Z28. Its tread pattern was derived from the Formula One racing rain tire. 
Mounted to this lightweight aluminum wheel, it's the finishing touch to Z28's impressive handling characteristics. When you put all these pieces together and minimize compliance, Z28's suspension system gives back more than the sum of its parts, with maximum lateral acceleration of 0.83 Gs. Now that we've covered the Z28 suspension and its contribution to handling, let's talk about powertrain performance. Z28's standard power team is the 5-liter 4-barrel V8 and the new 5-speed manual overdrive transmission. This combination complements Z28's handling capabilities. We're especially proud of this new 5-speed transmission. It has a lightweight aluminum case and extension. Self-contained single rail shift linkage and a close ratio short throw shift pattern, which produces a positive feel and silky smooth operation. For the response of fuel injection, the optional 5-liter Crossfire Injection V8 really puts performance back up front. As you can see in this display, the Crossfire Injection V8 features dual throttle body injection units. In addition to precise fuel metering, the use of long, tuned inlet runners helps charge the cylinder bores. In the Crossfire configuration, the right injector charges the left bank. The left injector charges the right bank. What does it mean to you? Exceptional throttle response, rock solid drivability, and increased horsepower, up from 155 with the carbureted engine to a healthy 175 horsepower with the Crossfire injection engine. Matching the Crossfire injection engine in innovation is the new automatic four speed overdrive transmission. Carefully selected gear ratios complement the excellent low-end torque characteristics of the fuel-injected engine for good off-the-line response. And the overdrive fourth gear reduces engine RPM at highway speeds. We've only looked at the major components that make up Z28, but I can assure you that all components and design alternatives were chosen for a common goal, to make a Z28 that delivers impressive overall vehicle performance. And I'm convinced that it does. But to really appreciate it, get behind the wheel and drive it. I think you'll agree, Z28's a real performer.